In this video, we will see the linear programs or equivalents, and we will see systematic ways to translate some linear program templates into others. This can be particularly useful if some solvers require you to write the linear programs in a certain way, or if you want to determine the differences between two linear programs that are written in different ways. One of the general forms of linear programs, which we discussed in a previous video, is as minimize some C transpose X, where X is in Rn, and subject to AX greater or equals to B. And of course, A, B, C here are all parameters of the optimization problems. C belongs to Rn, A is an M by N matrix, and B is a vector of real numbers in Rm. Now, this is a minimization program with N variables and M constraints. It can easily be turned into a maximization program with the same number of variables and constraints by simply replacing C by minus C we obtain the following equivalent maximization program. Maximize minus C transpose X with X in Rn and AX greater or equal to B. Another useful way to write programs is by using non-negative decision variables. This can be easily derived by posing X equals to X plus minus X minus, where X plus and X minus are non-negative. We obtain the following equivalent formulation minimize C transpose X plus plus minus C transpose X minus, where X plus and X minus are non-negative, and where we have the inequalities AX plus plus minus AX minus greater or equal to B. We can rewrite this in a more standard manner as minimize the vector C minus C transpose capital X, where X is now a vector in R2N plus, which means that all of its coordinates are non-negative, and the constraints become the, the big matrix A minus A times X greater or equals to B. This program now has two N variables, but still has M constraints. Although some authors consider that inequalities X plus greater or equals to zero and X minus greater or equal to zero count as an additional two N constraints. Another important rewriting of linear programs is the removal of inequality constraints except for the sign of decision variables. This can be done by adding so-called slack variables. Indeed, AX greater or equals to B is actually equivalent to AX minus S equals to B with S in RM plus. We obtain the following equivalent formulation, minimize C transpose X with X in RN and S in RM plus subject to AX minus S equals to B. And in more matrix term, this corresponds to saying minimize the vector C0 transpose XS with X in RN, S in RM plus, and the equality constraints A and minus I multiplied by XS equals to B. This program has N plus M variables and M equality constraints. Using the same trick as above, it can be turned into a linear program whose decision variables are all non-negative, which corresponds to minimize C minus C zero transpose X S with X S in R two N plus M plus subject to the big matrix A minus A minus I times X S equals to B. This program now has two N plus M all non-negative variables and M equality constraints. Finally, let me mention a last useful trick, which is to translate a program with K non-negative variables and M equality constraints into a program that looks like our original program. Say we start with minimize D transpose Y with Y in RK plus and HY equals to F and we want to turn this into minimize C transpose X with X in Rn and AX greater or equal to B. The trick is to note that HY equals F is equivalent to HY greater or equal to F and HY smaller or equal to F. Moreover, the latter can be rewritten as minus H times Y is greater or equal to minus F. And what's more, y in rk plus is equivalent to y greater or equals to zero. Thus, 
all the constraints of the former program are equivalent to inequalities hy greater or equal to f minus hy greater or equal to f and y non-negative. We can now simply define x equals to y, c equals to d, and a equals to the big matrix h minus h i, and b equals to f minus f zero. We obtain the right formulation with n equals to k variables and 2m plus n constraints. In actual problems, there may be even trickier manipulations to be made so as to prove that two formulations are actually equivalent, but of course I will not be able to review all such manipulations here. All I can do is invite you to do exercises to better see how linear programs can be reframed in equivalent but different manners.